Hi, Bloody Recaps here. Today I'm going to explain thriller movie. Hold the dark, keep your eyes open and stay focused. A six-year-old boy is playing near the house, but a wolf appears over the horizon. The boy's mother, named Maydora Sloan, closes the basement door and makes tea and does not notice her son's absence. But when she opens the door, she realizes that the boy is gone. A letter arrives at the home of Russell Cora, a wolf expert, asking Maydora to come right away. A wolf has dragged her son into the woods, and she wants him to at least find this wolf and kill it. She mentions that she knows how much he loves wolves, but they deserve to die because they have dragged away more than one child. Her husband returns from the war in Iraq soon, and she has to show him signs of her revenge. Letter he finishes reading already on the plane. A couple of days later he arrives at the address. Maydora meets him and realizes that compared to the picture in his book, he is already aged. At the house, she offers him tea and asks him to kill the wolf, because he did it once. That's what he wrote in the book. She wanted to find and kill them herself, but he replies that there are seven wolves in the pack, so it's a good thing she didn't find them herself. Russell notices a strange mask on the wall, and Maydora immediately distracts him with a question about the children. He has a daughter who teaches at the university, but she doesn't want to communicate with her father. Immediately she offers to walk to the place from where the wolves have dragged the other children besides her son. She shows the first place and then the second where the girl was dragged away. But Russell notices that here too the wolves came from the north. When he returns home, she gives him a cigarette and he smokes it, then tells him how his daughter and wife have turned on him. But Maydora interrupts his story by saying that she cannot pay. He agrees to help for a cup of cocoa. She wishes him good night and leaves. But at night Russell wakes up to Maydora's monologue about whether her son is in heaven or hell. He sees her in the bathroom and decides to return quietly to the couch. She comes out of the room naked wearing the mask he saw earlier on the wall. Maydora removes the mask and lies down next to him. She lets out a tear and moves his arm around her neck. She tries to strangle herself, but he pulls his arm out. A certain man is smoking outside her house. Desert. A cold-blooded American soldier massacres his rivals, is praised by his captain for his marksmanship and goes to take pictures at the murder scene. The shooter turns out to be Vernon Sloan, Maydora's husband. A little later in the village on the pass, he hears moans and notices his captain raping a girl. He quietly sneaks into the house and stabs him, then gives it to the girl and leaves. And from the house, the girl can be heard finishing off the captain. Sloan is shot in the neck and sent home. He will still be well. Maydora helps Russell pack up and asks him to finally kill this wolf. He walking through the village. Behind him stands a woman who tells Russell to go the other way. The girl is full of evil but he wishes him well and goes on his way. Russell explores the caves, climbs the high ground and howls. No answer follows, but suddenly an answering howl is heard among the dense woods. He heads that way. Russell notices through binoculars that the wolves are sharing some meat, but after a closer look it turns out to be a little wolf cub, and then Russell plummets and flies down, which of course the predators notice. The rifle is left at the top, and the animals are already following him. He manages to grab it and aims it at the wolves, and when enough time has passed they look at Russell, turn around and walk away. Russell returns home, but notices a strange silence, yet it doesn't stop him from warming up. He begins to explore the house in search of Maydora, but finds the lock picked, the door from which leads to the basement, where he finds nothing, but as he leaves it he notices a strange wrap of plastic film. There appears to be her son for the search of whom he came here. He runs out into the street and tells passers-by what he found there. Seeing a woman who tells him that there is much evil in Maydora, she asks him to leave as soon as possible and leaves. Russell returns to the basement, and the settlers go in search of Maydora. The police take her letter from Russell, the boy's body is taken away and Russell is asked to move to a motel, as he is not allowed to stay at the scene. While he is packing, he is asked to stay with the militia because there may be questions, and the local settlers believe she is possessed by a wolf demon. They call him Turnock, she sheds her skin, her blood is cursed and the like. The police will need his testimony in the simplest of words. Russell falls asleep and we are transported back in time when Vernon and his son killed a deer and he promised to stay with his son forever. And then we return to our time, 
where Vernon is met by a man from the settlement and gives him his knife. They arrive at the hospital, where he notices his boots on Russell's feet, and then says goodbye to his son and leaves the morgue. But before he leaves he addresses Russell. He silently holds his hand and they leave with Sheriff Donald. And when the officers tell Vernon how the investigation is going, he kills two of them and takes the data. And then they dig a hole and Vernon wants to bury his son in his own way, with some kind of ritual and bloodshed. Vernon's friend Cheyenne brings him back to the settlement and gives him the keys to the car in which he will continue his search alone. Arriving at the house ignoring police tape, he treats his war wound and examines Maydora's papers. When he sees the inscription that she has been found, he collects all his weapons and then burns her file. He also notices the absence of the mysterious mask on his way out. But before he leaves, he is about to stop by a nearby house, where a woman lives who has foreseen the evil lurking in Medora. She tells him an ancient story about wolves, and he silently stands up and we are transported to Russell, who tries to reach his daughter. But he gets to voicemail and asks her to call him back, because he loves her so much. He writes his notes and remembers the old woman fortune teller and tells the sheriff about her. But he is not at the station, he is now at the crime scene, where he realizes that the boy is missing, which means that Vernon did it and he should be visited. In the meantime, Russell arrives at the fortune teller's house and finds her, but with her throat cut. At this time the sheriff interrogates Cheyenne, but he doesn't want to talk to them because a year ago when his daughter went missing they came in a day, but now they came in an hour and a year ago his wife left because of the missing child and he's all alone. The sheriff returns to the collective and sees Russell, but behind them the attic opens and Cheyenne starts shooting them all, and after he destroys almost everyone, the sheriff asks his deputy to shoot while he runs to the house, which he does. And when the sheriff tries to open the door, he sees a stretch with a sawed-off shotgun and returns it to its original position. The deputy sees a wounded colleague and decides to help him but Cheyenne shoots him. Sheriff, meanwhile, cuts the line and goes in. Russell tries to pull the kid away and Cheyenne recognizes him and doesn't shoot him, but Sheriff comes up behind him and Cheyenne talks about some call to his wife that can't be avoided, and after Boo says, Sheriff shoots him and he goes down, and Vernon arrives at the place where Maydora was last seen. The woman tells him that she lived with her two days ago and went to a local Indian hunter named John. He asks to see the room where she lived, where he immediately falls to his knees to sniff out her sheet, and then goes to the hunter and finds him by the mine itself. Russell, meanwhile, is having dinner with the sheriff and his wife, talking about his daughter. Meanwhile, the hunter tells Werner that his wife was at his place two days ago and she knew he was after her, but he helped her because he helps everyone who comes to him. He gave her handmade boots and she left in an unknown direction, but in return she left her mask which Werner looks at and takes the wolf mask, and just kills the hunter. He goes back to his car, but a woman shoots at him and manages to wound him, after which he drives off. He crawls over to his acquaintance and asks for help and calls Sheehan, but he gets some sad news and gets his wound fixed. And Russell talks with the sheriff and decides to go in search of Maydora together, for they may find Vernon there as well. She is pacing in the woods at this time, but it turns out to be Vernon's dream, where their happy couple were fondling in the warm waters. He wakes up and he hears a guy calling the cops to come and arrest Vernon, but he also kills his friend. He and Russell will go as a pair because one half will go to the scene of his friend's murder, which they found this morning, and the other half will explore the settlement. As they fly, Russell notices smoke from the ravine, and the sheriff decides to land on ice, which he succeeds in doing. In the woods, Russell's C.O.R. notices the tracks of four wolves, but when they turn around at a Russell behind them, they see Vernon among the trees, who pierces the sheriff with an arrow and escapes. And Russell runs to the steam spring and finds Medora there. He asks her to run, but immediately receives an arrow from Vernon. He walks right up to her and starts choking her, but when she takes off his mask, he stops and kisses her and Russell faints. When he wakes up, Vernon gives him a smoke and after unscrewing the tip, he carefully takes out an arrow and they leave with Medora. Russell goes after them, but when his strength runs out, there are wolves on a mountain nearby and Russell thinks it's the end but he is found by locals on snowmobiles. 
and while he is being healed by a settlement in which one of the women takes his boots, Medora and Vernon dig up their son's coffin and drag it behind them. The next time Russell wakes up in the hospital, where his beloved daughter is waiting for him and he promises to tell her what happened to him. Support the channel by subscribing, liking and including notifications, because you'll be the first to know about new videos. Share your opinion of the videos in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next videos.